welcome back to the channel and a, another global Evo 13.5 marine video. So before I get into um, today's video, I want to say a massive Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you are all safe, uh, do well and enjoy your Christmas or holidays and get what you want. So today's video if you see my global videos you'll know that i use a tropic marin all in one um reef supplement which is calcium magnesium kh and trace elements um i was at my local fish store to get some stuff and i come across a other one by a different company, a Polyp Lab the One um, supplement contains DKH, calcium, um, and magnesium. Um, this one's um, powder form rather than the already made liquid form from Tropic Marin. So um, this costs two pounds more. So I thought, you know what? Um, it's two pounds more. We'll give it a go, and the next couple of weeks, the videos will just be. Um, showing you if this is any different to the Tropic Marin. So it's basically um, contains calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, and the one supplies calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity to your reef in a simple and convenient formula. It is a fully balanced calcium system that does not require complicated reactors, multi-part systems, or any extra equipment. Um, Polyps Lab, the one, is engin engineered for two forms of alkatate and hydroxide salts when dosed. The calcium and magnesium ions are freely available for uptake by corals, clams, and other reef organisms. The acetate ions are metabolized by bacteria to create biological available bicarbonate, the hydrogen oxide salts provide further buffering capabilities, does not elevate salinity, does not contain calcium carbonate and phosphate and silicate free. And the directions for this one is pretty simple. It's powder form and it says to get the one ready to use, add RO water to the neck of your new bottle, then shake well and top off with RO water until filled up, shake well before each addition. And the dosing for this one is basic daily dose per 50 gallons of total um, system volume. Um, so then it gives you a demand and dose. So new tank, one capful, an all soft coral tank, one capful, a mixed reef, three capfuls, and a heavy SPS tank, four capsules. So I've got a mixed reef. So I'll be adding three capfuls daily. Um, obviously, I've got my softies and my Duncans, so I've got a mixture of both. So um, it's two pound more. It's five hundred mil, which is roughly the same size as this. And like I said, it's two pound more. It's a powder form, so you add your ROD water um, to the neck of the bottle, give it a good shake, top it off with more RO water. And add your capfuls as required daily. Now it'd be interesting to see if this lasts longer than this. Because this one I'm putting in 5 mil a day, 500 mil bottle. And this one's three capsules. So do I put in three caps of that? Or do I just put in 5 mil a day? I'll see. I'll see how long it lasts as well. It's got ROD water. That's already. The Tropic Marin is already mixed, so it'd be interesting to see how long this one lasts. Um, stored in the cupboard, um, already mixed up. Got quite a lot of powder in it, so there you go. A new product to try. And like I said, I will be doing videos in the next coming weeks just to show you if the Polyp Lab 1 is any better or any different to the Tropic Marin seeing what the corals are like with this 
versus this. So I will quickly show you what the corals are like now. I've just done a big water change. I'll show you what the corals are like looking like now. Obviously they are closed up so I've done a big water change. I'll show you what they look like now. Um obviously I've added my daily stuff for this. <clears throat> and then when I switch to this, it'll be a weekly video, so like week one, week two, until I've used the entire bottle up. And we will see if there's any different. So I flip the camera around and show you now what a tank looks like and what the corals look like today with this. I've been using this for months now. So like I said, I've just done a massive water change. So the tank's got a chill a bit, but and obviously the corals are closed. But they're all open and doing well, apart from the Duncans. But as you can see, Corals are thriving well, and like I said, I dose five mil of Tropic Marin a day, and the corals definitely are thriving. So it will be interesting to see whether the Tropic Marin versus the one, if there's any different. And obviously you've seen my videos and you've seen how, when they're open, how massive the Duncans are. And obviously you've seen the same with the Postal, how that's open. You can see it's pretty much open now and doing well. And obviously you can see the mushroom, you can see the Kenya tree. Um, obviously you know the Duncans, how big they are when they're open. Obviously you know how big the blue discoma gets so like I said it will be interesting so the next video will pretty much be obviously yeah, I've got um, New Year's I've got New Year's Eve's video already recorded to go so obviously the first video in January will be the first week starting the new Pilot Labs the one and obviously there'll be like I said weekly videos on that showing you if there's any difference between the Marin and the Pilot Lab one so I hope you enjoy today's quick little video a new little product um, Pilot Lab the one and obviously like I said, the first video in January will be the first week of using the Pilot Lab 1. And we'll see just if it makes a difference which all-in-one supplement um, you actually use.
So as always everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment as it really does help the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon. Bye for now everybody.